Disc golf course around the entire wide range. Really? Yeah, they have uh, disc golfs in there. There's like 10, 15 people in there doing wine tape. Like, this is gonna be dope. <laughs> So this is our first winery harvest host. It is gorgeous here. It's beautiful weather. Um, we have one other um, harvest host RVer over there that we'll probably get to know. But they got some live music up here, jazz, wine tasting, food truck. Food truck. Food. We need we need lunch. Need <laughs> and then get this, they have a golf course, but not. Disc Yes, not a golf course with a golf ball, but a disc golf course. I'm excited. That's going to be fun, and it's all over the winery. So I'm about to start doing that as soon as we eat. But y'all enjoy the views. Talk to y'all later. Excellent. This is the Muscadine Meadows Diff. Diff. <laughs> this is the Muscadine Meadows Disc Golf Course. Yes, sir. What do you think so far? This is awesome. Yeah? Yeah. It's chill. Good music. Good food. And what, good Bloody Mary. I was going to say, <laughs> what kind of Bloody Mary was that that you had? It was um, <clears throat> wine infused or something. Uh, it was so good she can't even remember. <laughs> I had a local coffee porter out of St. Lucie and that thing was delicious. I'm gonna probably get another one. But we're gonna uh, disc golf it up here. Give y'all a couple maybe good throws. I don't know. I'm not always the best at these things, at these games. What do you want? Huh? What are you doing? I was gonna hold this. Oh, you gonna hold it? And record. You gotta record it. So, par three. We're going for 
yellow. Oh, I thought it was that right in front of you. There's a yellow flag in the distance. Oh, the wind. I just want to show y'all the wind. See how it's blowing? That's going against me. You gotta keep that in mind. Between you and me, he's a little rusty. Yowzer. See, rusty. It's the wind. Don't listen to her. <laughs> Turn this off. Smile car! Way to the people! I'm gonna camera her up all day today. So tomorrow there's supposed to be a art show. And a Corvette show. And a Corvette show. What? And we get to stay again. So we show up, food truck, disc golf, bluegrass band till five. Nice quiet night on the farm. In the morning, art show, Corvette show. And then we head to the poise is what I'm gonna call it. Water management. preservation, water management place. Free camping, AKA free camping. Free camping for a week, for a week. on like a mini barn campground equestrian center. It's gonna be awesome. But right now we're trying to find my disc, golf. Yeah, that's where she ended. Yeah, where did yours go? Over there. I'm not too far. I'm right here. I'm talking about closer than me. Look at that. Ain't no close to me. All right, we're gonna go with the cult. Pow, pow. Boom. The walk of shame. Here, use the cult. I just got good action off that. Oh. Let's see how far I go. How many posts do you think I can get? Down. Seven. Seven. That's, that's a good bit. Four. Four and a bounce. That's what I was going to say. Like a bird on a tree. I'm just sitting here. I got time. It's clear to see. From up here, the world seems small. We can sit together, it's so beautiful. You and me, we meant to be in the great outdoors, forever free. Pot pies tonight, y'all. You hear? Way out 
out here. You see that? Sometimes you need to go. Absolutely nothing. I like it. So you gonna stand by it? Huh? I think this is Corey's. She's picking this one. This is the one she wants to be in. I don't blame her. It's pretty nice. But then you got that white. You got that white. Oh. That's a cool ladder. Nice thing with solar panels. Uh -huh. there you go. <laughs> when you get done with yours, uh... Say what? I said, when you get done with yours, we right. got a couple more backs over here. You can... Right. <laughs> Sadie. Dirty. Well, that's gross. I need to clean the top of this. What's the sweetheart doing? Just blow me a kiss. Ah. Uh. You have to do steady movements. I do Tai Chi when I film. It is the secret to my smooth transitions. Watch this one. <laughs> we have been reading Leaves of Grass by Walt Whitman. It was 
great. Um, so I would probably, we, we sampled probably, I don't know, seven or eight different wines, a couple dessert wines, but they have 10 acres here. It's a 10 acre muscadine farm. Um, it's gorgeous. We've actually been able to stay here for two days for free. <laughs> yeah. We settled on a Weeby Jammin. Uh, yes. It was it's a, a semi dry white muscadine wine. Yeah. Um, it's really good. And the, the wines that we tasted were really, really delicious, especially the ones that they um, grown just here. Like, yeah. On this vineyard. Yeah. Um, is what I meant to say. And just really delicious. Yeah, today was a really relaxing day. Um, they had live music again all day today, an art show, and then also uh, a big Corvette show. Um, but this is a great harvest location, harvest host location. Um, it's in St. Lucie, St. Lucie, Florida. Um, it's not that far from Vero Beach. Um, so you're just out here in the middle of nowhere. Um, there's one other harvest hoster RV folks that showed up today, which is great. And they're headed to the big RV show in Tampa next week, which we're actually going to forfeit not go to. Yeah, we just have too many other <laughs> other plans, and it's right around the corner, so we'd have to make our way up to Tampa like in, I don't know, four days or something. We, yeah, we just have too many things we wanted to do. We don't want to shortcut the trip just for an RV show. We have an RV. <laughs> um, that's why we're out here. But uh, it was pretty cool. She She's gonna be like a vendor there or something to get a discount to get in. And she actually had some leggings that Corey was able to get 225 yeah, bucks. they're super soft and fun patterns. And right now all the leggings that I have are black, so yeah. figured. But um, yeah, th this is our standard evening. Sun pounding down on this, uh, just relaxing. Uh, crowds have pretty much left the, the rest of the art vendors are headed out right now and uh, the lady here she was super nice um, all the staff's nice we met the owner he came over and talked to us he saw us just off to the side um, by the pond eat lunch and um, I guess we might maybe stuck out because we were some of the youngest folks here and we were in the most quiet area and we explained we were uh, you know harvest host and he was glad we were here and, um, but yes yeah, his, his son helps run the nursery um, this is a really gorgeous property. Uh, I told Corey I could see myself doing something like this one day too. Granted, we had a muscadine, you know, one 60 foot line at our Grayson house in Georgia that we sold. Um, they have about 10 acres worth. But they harvest it all between August and September, like you're supposed to, and they pick it all by hand. So it's done right. They do it really, really good. Um, they have a couple bourbon, um, bourbon oak aged barrels i guess you would say he does it with some oak chips um it's like a port wine or something like that yeah it was it's really real good and... it was really good i wanted to get it but um we we, we settled with we be jamming but um another gorgeous gorgeous day yeah if y'all get the opportunity if anybody out there is doing harvest host definitely check out summer crush vineyard and winery yeah um it's really really awesome and they're very welcoming and yeah. Um, it's just beautiful. The staff is great. You have a disc golf course. Um, from here, we are going to be headed to Dupois, is what we're calling it. I think it's Dupious. Dupious. Uh, water management area. It's basically free camping. Yeah. Um, we're going to be there from tomorrow through Friday. So, um, and it's all for free. So that's pretty cool. And they've got, you know, it's they've got uh, yeah, potable water, and showers. hot showers. Um, so all you really do is need to run the generator um, for your power when you need it. We have our generator on now. I don't know if you can hear it or not. We got the Predator Harbor Freight generator, the 3500. After looking at tons and tons of them, I know the Hondas are what everyone says to get, but they're like $2,000 and I got this puppy on sale and it has really worked out. It was for under a grand. Oh gosh. Under, With the warranty yeah, and everything. Like, so. Yeah. 900 bucks um it was like 650 and then i did a, a year warranty um but it's worked like a charm we finally turned it on later because everyone's left and just to get some ac pumping it's been a gorgeous day um i had a couple of their local brews and then took a a day nap um give a bug it's gone <laughs> um but we took day naps i think you <laughs> you laid out i just in these laid chairs out here in the 
this hammock of a chair. Shout it's out awesome. to Corey's folks. Yeah, these chairs. <sighs> That's the way to end your day. This is it right here. But it's gorgeous. Yeah, nice. sun setting. We'll turn on some music here in a little bit once everyone clears out. And last night, I mean, it was just us, the warthogs, and the gators on the farm. And some cows. <laughs> yeah, the cows woke us up about, I woke me up about seven. Um, she can sleep through anything. But I uh, I woke up and edit, edit some of the videos y'all are seeing for about two and a half hours. And then uh, the party started rolling here with the Corvettes and everything. But this is how we are living right now. And it's I, just a it's a huge blessing to have this opportunity and we're very thankful that we get to do this yeah. so we're we're having a lot of fun and relaxing and hopefully you guys enjoy watching us and it, seeing us what see what how we're living i guess yeah it's living living through us um we got to talk to a couple older ladies at the wine tasting and one's from uh manhattan and uh it was just something she she was she retired when she was 74. Hip, hip, uh, fractured hip. Three fractured discs in her She bag. used to ride 25 miles a day. She was in pharmaceutical sales. <coughs> Has three sons. And she was like, do it now. She wish she did it when she was younger. Um, because it's just life ain't the same. And she seemed like she's a pretty adventurous woman. Yeah. And she was kind of similar to my mom with, uh, <laughs> in the sense of independence and um you know life is short so make the best of it and it, it's always comforting to hear that and even talking to the owner here today of this property he was just saying um you know y'all are doing it right you always have time to to work and then when you really put in in the grand scheme of things with life if it gives you the opportunity to take advantage of these things while you can so that's what we're doing um but we just want to come to you a little recap and uh, we'll be saying hey to y'all again, I'm sure. Catch you later. <laughs> See ya.